So, Hello. once again, I am Blaze of the TPL, and this is Dignitas' Universe. How's it going, man? Yeah, it's going good. Alright, so, had a pretty awesome game up against Paying Gaming just recently. Uh, I guess I'll just start off with the kind of standard question. How do you feel after that match? What are your thoughts on it? Uh, I feel pretty good. It was, uh, it was pretty easy a couple of games, so nothing, nothing too difficult. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you guys seem to handle it uh, pretty effectively there. Now, the last two games, or the only two games, you played Weaver and you played the Darkseer. Oh, which game do you think you to perform better on in that in the role that you were put? Uh, I think I performed better the Darkseer game. The Weaver game, I had a couple early deaths that could have been avoided, but uh, the Darkseer, I think I played well. Mm -hmm. Now you went a pretty interesting build on the Weaver. You went for an Orchid Rush. Uh, that's not the most uncommon thing, but uh, one thing that it doesn't take advantage of is uh, Weaver's potential to survive through time lapse. Like if you got hit by RP, you generally would be good picked off there. Do you still think it's the best option to rush Orchid in that scenario, like a Clinks? Uh, yeah, I really like rushing Orchid with Weaver. I feel like with the Tranquil Boots, where you can position yourself in a way where you can't really get picked by RP and stuff like that. If you do, it's mostly your fault. So I like that build a lot, especially against Nyx. I can uh, silence him before he gets Rage off, mm -hmm. which is the main reason why I got the item. Very, very powerful. Uh, so a question from the chat is based around your uh, time in EG and in Dignitas. What are some of the main differences playing on those two different teams? Um, Dignitas, our play style is a lot more aggressive. I feel like on EG we took things a bit slower. and. Uh, it's kind of hard for me to get used to it at first, but I think I'm getting more used to their play style now. That's the main difference, and I guess on EG we take things a little bit less seriously as well. <laughs> yeah. Gotcha. So how easy was it for you to adapt to the new team, like play style, team atmosphere, so on and so forth? Uh, it was pretty easy. Uh, it just took a while. But after a bit of time, I feel like I'm meshing well with the players now. Mm -hmm. Very cool. Um, so, uh, a little bit back to the re recent match here, uh, is there anything that you feel as a team that you did really well specifically, and is there anything that you feel you need to improve on in general? Uh, yeah, we need to improve more on just being as 5 when we're fighting. We take a lot of fights that are like 3v5 or 4v5, just because, I don't know, we're overconfident. That's the biggest thing we need to work on, and I think we we fought well that game. <laughs> That's about it. Sure. I, I can't take away much from those games. It's hard. So. It's understandable. Uh, yeah. Uh, so that was that was there were some questionable plays. They're interesting. I mean, you had such an advantage that it ended up not mattering in the slightest. But uh, how do you, how do you feel about that that way too sexy feed? That way too sexy feed. Uh, I don't know. It's it's pretty typical most games he feeds. So. Sure enough, it seems like you kind of bailed him out on the top lane there, Bat. Just could after the oh, oh, that's that's a good question. I'll I'll, I'll leave the one I was talking about uh, for a second. But uh, that level one Roche, uh, I I didn't even see that coming until they were like a quarter of the way through it. Uh, what did you guys think about that? I mean, you reacted at the very last second to it. Did you think that was a possibility yeah. or? Actually, it's fine. Right after the picks said that they could level one Roche, but I never actually went over to the Roche pit until very late. I don't know why. It's like a brain lag or something, but. By the time we got there, they had almost finished it. I just thought they could because they had Venge and Luna, so I thought mm -hmm. they might try and choose one win. Yeah, and they yeah. See, even uh, picked up in power level one, I believe. So yeah, they kept on just adding attack damage, and it, it worked out yeah. decently, except for the, the cleanup crew kind of came on through. And you know, when you get a triple kill first blood on Bane, you're pretty pretty off to a good start there. So that worked out nicely. Um, but yeah, up on top lane, uh, there were like two tier two supports up against Way Two that only didn't didn't have too much experience, and he seemed to be struggling. So that was kind of was there, uh, what was the point in time where you guys called and said, okay, well, Way2 can't get anything in the jungle, Darkseer is doing pretty well, so they threw you up there? Well, I actually made the call because I was like level 4 after all those kills, and I, I saw that he was struggling a bit after he died once, so I, I thought I could do more in the top lane and he could do the jungle and get his level there, so I told him, and uh, he agreed, so he made this one. Well. Mm -hmm. And the transition worked out pretty well. He got his Blink Dagger, you got a ton of stuff, Mech and Pipe, and, and generally speaking was able to use that in the rest of the game to great effect there. So uh, do you prefer to be one of those pl players that is like in the middle of the action, like like Darkseer there just being kind of fearless? Uh, I think the only time you didn't get your Mech RP off was one team fight, or sorry, Mech and a Pipe off, and the rest of it you were just able to kind of bait them into a bad spot where you just had your team to back you up? Yeah, I like being on those heroes where you just run in and kind of make stuff happen. I think it fits my playstyle more. Mm -hmm. 
So with that punch pickup, is that something you guys have practiced very much? No, it's not. Uh, actually, we didn't want to win the punch bottom. We wanted to win the punch mid and have Dark there in the woods for him. But after we saw them pick Queen of Pain, we decided to change up our lanes because even if I run for punch move, he's not going to be able to kill the co-op mm -hmm. before level 6. Gotcha. Cool. Um, let's see what else as far as what the chat has. Um, uh, people are saying uh, they're not exactly sure uh, why EG decided to replace you with Bidas. Do you have like any thoughts on that specifically? A lot of people think you were generally the better player comparatively, but uh, was it just that they wanted to kind of switch into that role being supportive uh, compared to you, or do you have any knowledge on that? Uh, well, I, I actually left, uh, so it didn't necessarily replace okay. me. But uh, after I, I, I don't know, I just wanted kind of a fresh start, that's why I left. And I think Bita is a great player. I wouldn't ever say that I'm ten times better than him. We're completely different in terms of our play. So he fits their team better, I feel like, than, than I would. Because, yeah, he sacrifices everything he can for the team, and he's a very good support player. Cool, cool, cool. And uh, so uh, hopefully with that fresh start, you kind of find that opportunity with Dignitas. They definitely play some more interesting styles, a lot more dynamic compositions and so on and so forth. And it seems to be going pretty well for you guys. Uh, right now, you guys are a little bit behind as far as the Premier League matches. Do you feel that you could easily still, uh, throughout the rest of the season, come out to the top four to move on into the playoffs? I'm not really sure who we have to play last, but uh, I feel confident in our play right now, and anything's possible. So we'll see what happens. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, I guess, yeah, people are wondering a little bit about the recent G League finals and the IG versus LGD international matchup there. Do you uh, have any opinions on that? Do you think there's a reason that IG was able to come out on top so well? Uh, I think I think they're just the stronger team at the moment. I think LGD has like one play style that they play, and IG has multiple. So they're just much more versatile in terms of their play style. Mm -hmm. That's why they won. How do you feel uh, Dignitas would uh, fare if you guys ended up having to be in a Chinese LAN environment? <laughs> I have no idea. That's, that's too hard to answer. Yeah. <laughs> There's too many variables. Uh, that's certainly true. They, they do definitely seem to keep things moving, and uh, like you said, variables all over the place with how not only individual player performance, but just as a team. It's a completely different game, for sure. So. That's pretty interesting. Um, what about uh, International 3, moving on forward? That's only like maybe six months away or so. What do you think are your chances on that one? Uh, I heard from rumors that there's only going to be like some invites and mostly qualifiers. So mm -hmm. we're just trying to improve our play so we can do well in a qualifier if it comes down to that. Obviously, we're hoping for an invite. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, hope for the best and prepare for the worst. So Yeah. Yeah, I, I actually, that kind of makes a lot of sense. I hadn't heard that rumor, but now that you mention it, I mean, there's some top teams like the the champions and such that they definitely want to bring back, but qualifiers also could, you know, do be, be a bit of a different thing. So uh, do you prefer to, you know, kind of earn your position there in a, in a tournament? Do you prefer to kind of qualify in and show that you have a right to be there, or would you just, you know, as it's simpler, less games to play, would you just rather jump into the action? I would obviously prefer an invite, but uh, I would also like us to accomplish something before the international as well. Mm -hmm. So, kind of a bit of both. Cool, cool. Um, well, I'll, I mean, we have a couple other questions, but but I think that's the most of the stuff that I wanted to cover. Do you have any shout outs or anything that you want to talk about? Uh, shout out to my team and our sponsors. And uh, I hope you do well in the rest of your tournament. Awesome, and I'm glad that you guys were able to come on and do this interview. And uh, congrats on your win up against Pain Gaming. So good luck in your future games. All right, thank you. Catch you later, man. All right, see ya.